بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> I am going in this lecture to present the system representation under default conditions in particular under short circuit conditions Note that the fault takes place at a point of the system at a point of the system Assume that we has that we have here a point of a system. This is an virtual extended point of the system. This is a point from phase R from phase Y from phase Z. Or from the red phase, yellow phase, blue phase, as you want. The types of connections on this point may be takes place as follows. If we connect a point from phase R with the ground then we have a short circuit here also we connect a point from phase Y and the point of phase Z also we have a short circuit also we connect a point from the phase R and the point from phase Y and at the same time we connect these two points with the ground also we have a short circuit in the system and at the same time if we connect three points point from the first phase point from the second phase and the third phase we also we have a short circuit and it may be it may be there is a connection to the earth also we have a three phase uh, short circuit so as you see we have the first type of short circuit is line to ground fault short circuit and the second type second connection is line to line the third is line to line to ground to earth and the fourth is line to line to line and it may be at the same time a connection to the a ground so we have as you see these types of connection a point the first line face to ground or line to ground face to face or line to line and so on now close side to these short circuits from a point of view of symmetry we see that this fault this connection keeps the system symmetrical while this connection these short circuits convert the system from unsymmetrical to a symmetrical system. So we can classify the faults as two types of faults from the point of view of symmetry. The first type is symmetrical faults. Okay, first type is symmetrical 
false. Is practically performed as line to line to line or line to line to to ground fault. This is a three phase short circuit. It is a symmetrical fault. It is called the symmetrical fault because it keeps the system symmetry. It keeps the system symmetry. While the remaining short circuits convert the system from symmetrical system to an unsymmetrical system. Uh, we call them unsymmetrical faults, asymmetrical faults or unsymmetrical faults. They are line to ground, line to line, line to line to ground faults. <coughs> so we can say we have two types of faults, symmetrical faults and unsymmetrical faults. Now, for our subject, the system representation, for the system representation, we should know the following. The first information First requirement that we should know, we should know the type of fault. Type of fault. We should know that the fault is symmetric or it is unsymmetric. We should know that this fault is line to ground if it is unsymmetrical or it is line to line, or it is line to line to ground fault. And the second requirement, the second thing that we should know to perform the system representation is the sequence networks for each of the system components. We should know the sequence networks. each of the system components each component No, the sequence networks for the generator. <clears throat> this is the sequence networks for the motor. This is sequence networks for the transformers, for the transmission lines. And these sequence networks uh, are presented, well presented in the previous lectures. So uh, you may return back to these lectures to understand these sequence networks for these components. The third thing that I want to say to talk about is the assumption assumptions that can be made to simplify the calculations of the uh, faults. The following main assumptions can be made. The first, first assumption is we assume that the power system, the power system, pre default power system operates under balanced steady state conditions.
and our balanced steady state conditions. Conditions. And the first assumptions means that the three sequence networks, the zero, positive, and negative sequence networks are completely uncoupled. This is what we mean by the power operates under the balance under balanced uh, steady state uh, uh, conditions. Second assumption: we assume that the pre-fault load current is neglected. The pre-fault. Current fault. Load current is neglected. We neglect the load current. Mean by this assumption, if we have, suppose we have. have generator one bar number one former Uh, the second generator two. This is that's bar number two. Now, and as you know, loads are connected to the buses. The buses load are connected to the buses. We assume that the load current is uh, neglected, is equal to zero. So, suppose that the point of fault, the point of fault, point of fault, this is the point of fault. Assume that the fault takes place at this point. Okay. Now, if we denote that the Voltage of V pre default conditions is equal to VF. Okay, then if we neglect the load currents, then the internal voltages of the machines are equal to VF. Then the internal voltage of the machine, the machine number one, and the machine number two is equal or equal to Vf. Okay, and this is simplified. This simplifies the calculations of the fault current. <clears throat> the third Assumption we the third assumption all the resistances in the system are neglected. Resistances of the system are neglected. Oh, 
consider only the reactances. The transformers, the lines, transmission lines, the synchronous machines are we consider in this system only the reactances, the reactances of the transformer, the reactances of the transmission line, the reactances of the uh, synchronous machine. Note that we discuss in these lectures that the short circuits takes place particularly in the primary and secondary transmission system. It's important that the those circuits that we are going to discuss are taking place on the primary and secondary transmission system. So we can easily assume that the default load current is equal to zero. Now the third thing the the other thing that I want to talk about is how to perform practically the short circuit in the system. Okay, <clears throat> let us assume that is, this is the point of fault. This is the point of fault. The point from the first phase, point from the second phase, and the uh, point from the third phase, as this is the earth. Now, to perform practically the short circuit, we assume that we have three terminals brought out from these three phases, from these three phases of the system. We assume that we have three terminals brought out from the phases. This is the terminal A, and this is the terminal B, and this is the terminal C. We have three terminals going out, brought out from the System. This is the current I A. I B. And I C. Okay. These are the phases R Y. Now. To uh, perform a short circuit in this system at this point, we have more than one options. We have more than one options. The first option is the first option is connecting the terminal A to the earth. The ground. Okay. The ground. Impedance. If this is the fault impedance. Then, in this case, as you see, as you see, this case under this 
connection conditions IB equals to IC equals to zero while IA is unequal to zero. Okay, as you see, this connection convert the system from symmetrical state symmetrical conditions to the unsymmetrical condition okay the system converted from the symmetry to the to the the un unsymmetry this is the uh, 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 how to perform the uh, short cir uh, sh circuit in the system. The second option to perform a short circuit, we connect B to C. The terminal B connected to the terminal C through an impedance of ZF. This is the fault impedance. The fault impedance ZF. Also, under this connection, as you see, IA equals to zero, while IB equals to minus IC. So, you see this connection convert the system also from the from symmetrical system to an unsymmetrical system. This is second type of fault is easily performed by connecting the two points, the two terminals, B and C. The third option is to connect B to C and at the same time, at the same time, At the same time, connecting them to the earth. Like this. Phase. Third phase, and this is the third. Are terminals terminal A terminal B and this is sorry is terminal C. These are the terminals <coughs> A, B, C. Connect. And at the same time, this connection Performed with the earth connection the ZF. Also, at this fault under this connection, we see that A 
equals to zero while IB is unequal to zero and IC is unequal to zero. So this connection convert the system from symmetrical system symmetrical system to an symmetrical system. Option to perform a short circuit as the connection of the three terminals A and B and C. Terminal. Terminal A. Terminal B. And this is terminal C. A. B. C. We connect A to B and time, time to C and at the same time maybe to the earth. As you see, as you see, I A, I B, I C. Uh, the, the fourth connection is A, B, to C, and maybe to earth under this connection the currents ia is unequal to zero also ib is unequal to zero ic is unequal to zero so, why Default conditions, these currents are equal to zero. As you see, under this connection, the system is still, the, this connection keeps the system symmetrical. This connection keeps the system symmetrical. So, as you see, these terminals, if we look to the system from these terminals, the system viewed from these terminals, from the terminals A and B, if the currents Okay, if we look to the system from the terms of E and B and C, and we see that the currents IA, IB equals to IB equals to IC equals to zero, then we say that the system is normal. There is no current on the system. Okay, why? This is the first case, okay? We look to the system from the three terminals. If we see that the currents drawn from the system towards, directed to the earth, and these currents are equal to zero, then we define the system that this system is normal. Why? If, <coughs> At least one terminal, at least one terminal has a current, there is a current at least at one terminal, then the system is under fault conditions. Okay? 
if at least okay there is a current one terminal one terminal then system is an abnormal is under fault condition okay the so in fault conditions we look to the system from one point we view the system from the terminals that are brought out from the three phases at that point now now if we want to find the general sequence networks as viewed from the fault terminals we assume that we have a point fault this is a point of the system one point of the system it may be a bus bus power form is a bus power from the passes of the system so as we see we assume that we have three terminals terminal a terminal b and terminal c okay and this these are the currents that we already discussed current ic okay current IB current IA as we said if we look to the system and we see that these currents are equal to, to zero we say that the system is uh, under the normal conditions under the normal conditions that means that the system operates under balanced steady state conditions why if there is at least one current one terminal that means that the system is operates is operating under old conditions old conditions so to represent this system under default conditions under default conditions we replace the system as we said in the previous lectures by three systems the first system is the zero sequence system network the zero sequence network since this network is symmetrical so we can take only one phase okay one phase and this is v naught zero sequence voltage this is i naught this is the voltage across the terminals at the point of fault at the point of fault and this is the zero sequence current that is drawn from the system towards the uh, earth and directed to the earth and the second network is the positive sequence network positive sequence network also we can take single phase because the system is symmetrical this is the positive sequence voltage at the 
terminal A and the positive sequence current that is drawn from the system and directed to the terminal A and the same can be said for the negative sequence network take single phase A B2 and this is I2 okay so this is a point from the system this is the point it may be it may be a bus one bus of the buses of the system bus at which we assume that the fault takes place we have three sequence networks zero and positive and negative negative so these these sequence networks can be reduced to the thevenin equivalent sequence networks so this can be reduced by using the thevenin equivalent uh, circuits so the zero sequence network can be reduced to the thevenin equivalent zero sequence network and this is the reduced circuit this is the thevenin equivalent circuit this is terminal a and this is v naught and this is the thevenin equivalent circuit the thevenin equivalent impedance of the zero sequence network viewed from the terminals at the point fault okay this is i naught okay and the same for the positive sequence network this is the terminal first terminal is a this is the given an equivalent impedance of the positive sequence network and this is v thevenin in v thevenin in which is equal as we said to the voltage at the point of fault we said already we said that the if we neglect the load current then then the internal voltages of the machines are equal to the voltage of the point of fault okay this is v1 and this is i1 and the same for the negative sequence network this is the thevenin equivalent network for the negative sequence network v2 i2 and this is z2 z2 is the thevenin equivalent impedance of the negative sequence network viewed or seen by the terminals brought out from the point of fault brought out from the point of fault this these are so uh, finding or formulating the sequence networks the zero sequence network and the positive sequence network and the negative sequence network and after that we reduce these systems by using the Tiffany equivalent circuit this step is important is a very important step for solving the unsymmetrical faults as we shall see later this is the 
very important step finding the or drawing the sequence networks for the system viewed from the fault terminals from the point of fault from the point of fault now to let us take an example a numerical example to uh, illustrate how to find these sequence networks and how to find the given an equivalent uh, circuits let us take this example we have a system okay and this system operating at balance steady state conditions at balance steady state conditions we need to find for this system the zero sequence network and the positive sequence network and the negative sequence network and after that we need to find the thevenin equivalent circuit for the zero sequence network viewed from the point of fault we assume for instance that the fault may take place at bus bar 2 then we need to find the thevenin equivalent circuit for the sys this system seen by the bus bar number 2 viewed from the bus bar number 2 and the same for the Thevenin equivalent, the negative or Thevenin equivalent circuit for the negative sequence network and the uh, uh, positive, the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the positive sequence network. So let us see. We have a single line diagram for the power system. This is a system balance system, so we can uh, take only a single line, single line diagram system okay because the system is balance and symmetrical and the negative zero uh, and the positive reactances for the components of the system are given as you see this is the negative sequence reactance for the generator and this is the uh, zero sequence reactance of the generator and as you see the subtransient reactance of the generator is given as you know as we said in the previous lectures always the subtransient reactance of the generators is equal to the positive sequence reactants and the same for the motor the subtransient reactants of the motor is equal to the uh, positive sequence reactants so this is the positive sequence reactants of the generator and this is the positive sequence reactants of the motor the same data are given for the transformer Okay, for the transformer x1 equals to x2 equals to x0 equals to x okay and the same for the second uh, transformer as you see for the line we have x1 equals to x2 equals to 20 ohm while these in per unit in per unit and the zero sequence for the transmission line also is given by ohm by ohm so we conduct the calculation we need to convert these values from ohm to per unit at the same base value or at the same system base values okay the data are given by the uh, example 
the demand from the example draw the zero sequence network per unit positive sequence network and the negative sequence network okay and the second we need the thevenin equivalent circuit reduce the sequence network the zero positive and negative to their thevenin equivalence as if you would from bus bar number two so this means that we assume that the fault takes place at bus bar number two okay the terminals brought from the three phases at the point of fault at bus bar number two okay okay and as you see the voltage at point of fault at bus bar number two is equal to 1.05 per unit and the three fault load current the loads that drawn from the buses is neglected and also we neglect the delta y transformer phase shift in this question now let us see how to to find the first demand how to find uh, the requirement number a how to find the zero sequence network for this system first of all first of all we had to know the base values so as you see uh, to know the base values okay to draw the equivalent circuit as you see we had to define sp and as you see from the example the sp the base value of s is 100 megavolt ampere while p pays t 13.8 kilovolt phase in the zone of the generator that means at the low voltage side db equals to 30.8 kilovolt at uh, low voltage side that means db is equal to 138 kilovolt at the high voltage side because the transformer okay change the base value of the voltage base value of the voltages are changed are changed by the transformers okay now based on these base values we can find the uh, zero sequence network and the positive and negative sequence uh, zero sequence reactance and the positives and negative sequence reactance of the transmission line x note for the transmission line in per unit is equal to j 16 applied by 100 divided by 138 square or 2 this is equals to j our point 315 per unit and the remaining reactances are 
kept the same because we select the same phase values that are uh, uh, collected upon which the uh, reactors, reactances are collected. Okay, so let us start from the generator. This is the this is the zero sequence reactance network for the generator. G naught for the generator is equal to J O point five. Okay. And the generator, as you see, the neutral of the generator is directly connected to the ground, is solidly grounded. That means Zn equals to zero. Okay. So the reactance of the Xn is equals is equal to zero. This is the zero sequence network for the generator. This is the bus bar number one. Then we take the transformer. As you see, the transformer is connected delta y. Okay, the star is solidly connected to the ground, and the uh, low voltage side is connected in delta. That means that the zero sequence network for the transformer is opened to the side of the generator. This is the zero sequence reactance of the transformer is equals to J point then and there is an open circuit between the bus bar number one and the uh, delta side of the uh, transform and uh, this is the zero sequence network for the line j o point three hundred fifteen the same for the generator number two. The generator number two, uh, the uh, sorry, the uh, transformer number two is also connected star delta, delta from the side of the motor. So there is an open circuit between the uh, transformer and the motor in the zero sequence network. And this is the zero sequence network for the motor. We see that the zero sequence network for the motor is J0.10. Okay. And we have Xn equals to, this is Xn, J0.10. Five in zero sequence uh, network. This reactance is multiplied by three. So also we have here a reactance of J O point one five per unit, and this is the bus bar number two. Okay, and at this bus. From the example, it is assumed that the fault takes place at this bus. This bus. This is the zero sequence network for this the system shown in this example. The same made for the positive sequence network. 
the difference the, between the zero sequence network and the positive sequence network that in positive sequence network we have a voltage source while in zero sequence network there is no voltage sources here in zero sequence network and the second difference between the two circuits that in positive sequence network we didn't care about the connection of the connection of the transformer whether it is delta or star and the connection between the neutral points and the uh, ground uh, 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 it didn't affect the uh, positive sequence uh, network so this is the positive sequence of the generator this is the internal voltage as we said equal to 1.5 internal voltage is equal to the voltage of the point of fault and the point of fault is assumed to be at bus bar number two okay and the voltage at bus bar number two pre default takes place is equal to 1.1.05 1 per unit this is equal uh, j0.15 the positive sequence network of the transformer j o point then the positive sequence of the line is equals to is equal to 20 ohm in per unit is this value divided by 3 that means it is equals to 1.05 per unit the zero sequence for the second transformer okay this is bus bar number two and this is the positive sequence network of the generator uh, of the motor sorry is, is equal to of point five per unit this is a positive sequence network for this system for this system and the same we can do can make for the we can draw the negative sequence network for the system the negative sequence network is similar to that of the positive sequence network except that the negative sequence network hasn't any uh, voltage sources j o point fifteen uh, seventeen j o point ten Five. Second transformer J O point one, and the motor J O point twenty one per unit. This is the negative sequence. Network. Okay. Now let us go to the second requirement, the second demand. Reduce the sequence networks. Reduce these networks to their Thevenin equivalents viewed from bus bar number two. Okay. We reduce 
this system. Okay. Viewed from the terminals brought out from bus bar number two. Hey, as you can get as you draw. Okay. We can find the Thevenin and easily find the uh Thevenin and equivalent circuit for the zero for the zero zero network. This is Thevenin. Network. Can find did not the seven and equivalent reactants for this system viewed seen from the passpar number two. As you see, we have only these reactances. Which are connected in series. So, did not, did not is equal to J O point twenty five. Very nice. Zero sequence network as follow. The seven and equivalent voltage for the zero sequence network is equal to zero since the network hasn't any voltage source. J okay. okay. oh, point twenty five. This is V one and this is uh, V naught, sorry. I naught. V naught is the zero sequence voltage okay at point eight at the terminals a the terminals that is brought out from the phase a of bus bar number two okay and for the positive sequence network the thevenin and equivalent circuit is equal as you see this reactance is parallel to these reactants are connected in series. The result of the uh, the equivalent reactance of these reactants is connected in parallel with the the reactance O point twenty. So Z1 is equals to J O point twenty multiplied by these are equals uh, twenty five okay thirty five and J O point forty That is equal to J O point J point one three nine fifty parent. Then as you see this is
the z1 of point one three nine three this voltage is equal to one oh point five and zero this is the positive sequence voltage and this is the positive sequence current and the same for z2 as you see z2 is equal these reactances are connected in series okay the result the equivalent reactance of these is connected in parallel with the j0.21 so we can find z2 is equal to j0.13 to parent and then the thevenin equivalent circuit for the negative sequence network v2 i2 and this is equals to j 0.13 Parent. Okay, these are as we see the general sequence networks of the system the zero, the positive, and the negative sequence network for this system. For this system, and these are the seven equivalent zero sequence network and the positive sequence network and the negative sequence network for this system viewed from the uh, uh, point of fault from the bus bar number two that we assume that the fault takes place at this bus now how the thevenin equivalent circuit Okay, the thevenin equivalent circuit, this circuit, and the positive sequence circuit, the negative sequence circuit, how they are interconnected between each other, this is what we shall see in the following lectures. Hope this lecture will be helpful for you see you next video inshallah wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh